All right, so today I'm going to show you how to refill uh, propane canisters uh, using two methods. Number one is by uh, chilling, by uh, uh, freezing the uh, canister. Number two is uh, not uh, freezing. So it's going to show you here. This bottle is at 7 degrees Celsius. This bottle is at the air temperature, which is around 19 degrees Celsius. So let's get started. All right, so first I'm going to show you how to refill this canister using the chill method. So I put this canister in the refrigerator for about a couple hours. Temperature is it's rising. And when I first got it out, it's around what, 7 degrees Celsius. It's now 12, 11 or 12. So I got to do it quickly. So by chilling or freezing the canister, you are essentially make the propane to flow in the bottle better because the propane uh, liquefy at uh, very low temperature. So all you have to do is uh, get this connector you can get from eBay or Amazon. It's pretty cheap now just for a few dollars. And then uh, make sure this valve is locked. Okay. Now you install this. This thread is counterclockwise. Put it in like so. And you make sure this is tight because uh, if it leaks, it's going to be less stinky. And uh, for this bottle, it's uh, clockwise. And screw it in clockwise. All right. All right. So for this, you should wear gloves because this gas is really stinky, and uh, it doesn't go away for like a f quite a few days, and uh, you don't want to upset your honey. Because she's gonna be like, no fun for you tonight or tomorrow night or until the hand is clean. So you put this upside down, right? and uh, just release the valve, let the, uh, the gas flow into the canister. So this method requires this bottle to be cold and um, that's why you when the moment you get out you get it out of the refrigerator of the, out of the freezer um, you gotta do it quick because uh, this will heat up pretty fast and the more heat it gets the less efficient it's gonna absorb the propane liquid so by Turning this uh, upside down, you make the liquid to flow through the valve down there and to the bottle. You want the liquid, not the, the gas part. Alright, so it's, it's been like a minute or so. I should stop right now. I don't hear anything flowing anymore, so uh, it should be done. So just close this valve first okay, before you flip it over. Alright, should be done. Just a little bit of residual from the valve here. Alright. Alright, so now let's weigh the bottle, see what we got here. One pound three point five ounces. This bottle, when empty, it was around fourteen ounces. It says net weight fourteen ounces. That's the weight of the content, the weight of the gas. This bottle alone is also 
14 ounce when it's empty. It's just a coincidence, it's not the net weight. But anyway, now after I refill it, it weighs 1 pound 3.5 ounces. So I actually only get about 5.5 ounces into the bottle using the chilled method. It's not very efficient. Uh, this bottle when full, uh, it has it should have around 14 ounces of gas. But I only have about 5.5 ounces. I can feel a little bit of liquid slushing around in there, just a little bit, uh, not too much. So using the chill method is not uh, it's not very efficient, but it's safe. Um, and you know, this way you just have to uh, fill it more often. That's all. all right, so next, I'm going to show you how to refill this bottle without having to chill it first. So this is just at a regular air temperature. So let's see. Air temperature is about 18 degrees Celsius. Bottle temperature is about 19 degrees Celsius. So um, this is at air temperature. I didn't have to chill this first. What you need is a, a pair of faucet or um, Bad needle nose pliers. I got this at um, Harbor Freight and it's pretty cheap. I think it's about $2. Uh, Home Depot and Lowe's have these too, but more expensive. So you just put in the valve, there's a release valve on here. Put it in here, pull, grab it, pull it up. Yeah, pull it up. You can release the pressure, and that's how you can get more gas into the bottle. All right, so let's put it in. All right, before I fill the bottle, let's weigh the empty bottle. 14 and a half ounce. Bit too bright out here, but you can see 14.5 ounces empty. All right, so I got everything ready. My big tank upside down, the smaller canister is installed and ready to go. All right, so here is the emergency valve, and in order for this to work, you have to uh, install it in a way that this valve stays as high as possible. Let me zoom out. This valve got to stay up here, not down here, because the liquid is going to fill from the bottom here, it's going to go up, right? So, um, when it gets to the valve, it's going to be released. So, you want to avoid the liquid as much as possible. Alright, so. Let's get to it. All right, now time to release some pressure. So just put the pair of pliers in there and just pull the pin upward. Pull the pin away from the bottom. It's quite stinky uh, when you do it this way. So just pull the valve until you know you see white mist coming out. That's when you know that the liquid is gonna go. Oh, it's already uh, all the way up here.
you see the white mist coming out that means it should be enough so usually um, when I fill it I just put the valve just a little bit higher than the horizontal position just higher than this point right here just a little bit so when I see the mist that is the indication that uh, it's full so let's uh, weigh it and see what we got all right let's get it out So you lock this valve, otherwise stuff is gonna come out. Yeah, that's a little bit residual, but uh, soon be a problem. All right, let's weigh this. One pound, twelve point three ounce. Let's see if you can see that on the camera. It's it's quite bright out here. Let me. This canister here, net weight is sixteen ounce, and this is by weight, not by volume. Four hundred fifty three gram. And um, before I weigh this, the empty bottle weighs about 14 ounces and now when it's full it weighs one pound what 12.3 so one pound 12.3 so it's about what um 12 ounces 14 ounces about 14 ounces so it's it's almost full here and I don't you know I don't want to really completely fill it I just want to leave it a little bit room for safety and that uh, that should be it so when you fill the canister this way using the uh, pair of pliers uh, the time that you pull on this uh, emergency valve here uh, not long at all I would say around 15 to 20 seconds and that's it that should be enough to fill this whole canister if you happen to overfill this bottle let's say so this bottle net weight is 16 ounces that's the weight of the content the weight of the gas alone not including the bottle okay if you happen to overfill this um, just use this tool again, put it in, and you can vent out the gas like so. Okay, make sure that you know you're in well ventilated area and uh, no spark, no fire, otherwise, it's gonna create an explosion. But anyway, uh, let's see, let's wait again, see what we got. one pound 11.9 so I've lost about what half an ounce in just a few seconds all right so there you have it two ways to fill your protein and propane canister chill and no chill which way is better well it depends this way here this is the chill method uh, even though it's not very efficient it is safe you don't vent out gases and also, uh, if you have a valve, then you can't pull it out. This specific bottle here, I cannot pull out the valve. The valve is stuck. I can't pull it out. So even though I want to use the no chill method, I still can't uh, refill this tank using the no chill method because this valve is stuck. This method will allow you to completely fill this uh, canister but then it will release gas and might be dangerous um, and there's a chance of uh, getting it overfilled and that is even more dangerous so uh, it just it's just different way to fill your propane canister there's a pros and cons 
but uh, it's up to you. So hopefully this will save you some money uh, in refilling this uh, canister. It does save me quite a lot of money uh, because I use this quite a lot and um, I've seen this for sale for over five dollars each. This is one pound and that is 20 pounds. You do the math. I only It only cost me around nine dollars or less to f completely fill this 20 pound tank. This one pound is five dollars. Doesn't make any sense. Alright folks, and uh, that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.